Hey, we're here at Fuller Motorhomes. We're in Boylston, Massachusetts. We're with Sherry Fuller. And Sherry, you know, there's an old phrase that my father used to use all the time, and it's truer than ever now. Time is of the essence. So basically, if you want to rent this summer or spring, you better act quick, right? You better act real quick. Uh, April, we're already sold out. We have, our fleet is de has been depleted and um, because of the sales uh, from last year and earlier this year. So now we are, have the smallest fleet since the late 90s. Okay, but you're waiting for, you've got tons of new units <laughs> on order, but would you agree that because of the demand for RVing in every aspect, the rental fleets are uh, getting smaller and smaller? The rental fleets are getting smaller and smaller, and I feel bad for the manufacturers because they're stuck behind the eight ball because they can't get their supplies, their appliances. Their shortages are holding up the coaches now. Yep, and it, everything else is and being everything delayed. Else, and it's the, um, the bad weather. So now the ones that we were supposed to get in April, we have no time frame. Okay. Not even a time frame, not even a date. They will not even, I have, uh, there's two going online. Um, there are a new floor plan that we'll be getting, but I don't have the time frame when they're coming offline. I do have one small lightweight trailer ready to be picked up and we have to go get it. They okay. want it out of there. So let's be perfectly <laughs> clear right now. Um, no special license required, right? If not you're using all. it for personal use. Okay. Not and it all. says here, do we need a reservation? Absolutely. People should call you. Um, they can go online, right, to fullerrv.com. They can go online. They can request a quote. Yep. We'll get back to them. Um, we can go back and forth online. You can give me a call. Um, but you need to do something because if you're looking at any time this summer, even I'm talking June, July, August, you need to get in now. Now, okay. Or else you're not going to have anything. So what type of units do you have at Fuller RV? Do you have only the towable kind? Do you have a t Tell me a little bit briefly about what you have available. So we have travel trailers, which are the small lightweight travel trailers for SUVs to tow. Plus we have a 32 foot. We have the 40 foot. If you want us to deliver them like the 40 foot to a site, set it up and then go back and pick it up. We do that. If it's going to your house, that's fine. Um, also, with the motorhomes, we start off at 24 foot, which is the smaller ones, no slide, yep. and go all the way up to the, in the class C's, all the way up to the 33 foot. And then with the class A's, we've got a 38 foot gas, gasoline, and two 39 foot diesels. Ah, okay. So we're in a class C right now. And you know what? This is pretty spacious. It doesn't have the slide. Most of them do, but I mean, what do we got? A double bed back there. We got a full bathroom here. We've got a um, a couch that slides into a bed. Jackknife, yep. Jackknife, okay. That we've got dinette a dinette drops down. Dinette drops down and, and a queen over. And a queen over. So this legitimately, you got a queen in the front, queen yep. in the back. Sofa's a three quarter full. Dinette's a three quarter full. Eight. You can sleep eight tight or six comfortably. Comfortably, okay. So if you got little kids, I mean. You, you know what? Like, you can, you, no problem at all. No, and no slides. Okay. So when you rent from you, um, is it a per mile basis? Is it a daily rate? How does that work? So you get, um, it's usually by the day. You get, We do one, two, three, four day rate, and then we do the week, and then additional days. So you do a 10 day, a 12 day. We also have 100 miles a day of free, and oh, okay. then it's 28 cents a mile. Okay. That's not bad at all. So... Um, as far as security deposit and that type of thing, um, you require some type of, I'm, I'm sure, yeah, some type of... the security deposits vary with the different site, with the different units. Depending on the rental rate will depend on the security deposit. Okay. People love their pets. Can they bring their pets? Yes, they can. We try to keep them around 40 pounds because of the fact that we don't want to hurt the motorhomes, but we charge a $200 pet fee, okay, and that covers the ionizing to get rid of the pet dander, Yep. And the steam clean to make sure that the next people in here don't have any reaction. Okay. I think people pay that in a hotel anyway. Exactly. Unless they smuggle them in in their well, suitcase. Well, we, yeah. we actually do, you know, steam clean and clean them. Okay. Like <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now, um, say I'm adventurous and I want to go up to the mountains and I want to go off-roading with one of your RVs. Um, no. What do you, no. No off-roading. You can't even go. If you're going hiking, 
and you see cars going down a path and say, I can fit down there, do you better not go there because between the road and the trees, you'll cause damage to the motorhome. Hmm. And the roof and everything and else. And the roof, yep. exactly. Yep. Um, Off-roading, we went over that. <clears throat> um, you know, a lot of these people are saying, well, I'm going to rent it from my neighbor who has one. Uh, or they put it on, go to one of those websites that the, I guess they call to them peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, describe the difference between working with Fuller and a peer-to-peer -peer scenario. Well, what, say your Ivy Share or Outdoorsy. Those are the two most popular ones right now. And um, go with those two. The biggest problem is, is, number one, maintenance. Number two, the knowledge of the unit. And number three, what happens when you're out there and you can't figure something out? You call them and they might not be answering their phone or they don't know the answer. Or if you're stuck and there is something wrong, how are they going to get it fixed? Yep. So That's you guys have been in business for what, 36? 37 years. 37 years. So you pretty much have <laughs> um, knowledge of all your units before they go out. So you can probably diagnose a problem over the I, I mean, don't you diagnose, you know. Three quarters of them are over right, the phone. Over the phone. And if it's not. Yep. I get online, I find, I start calling until somebody answers, and then even if they do answer, they I need to know that they can fix it right away. So I will keep calling until somebody, I get the person that will work on it right away. Okay, so now we've mm. uh, we've made our reservation, we've, we're on the road, and uh, actually we're not on the road yet, but we've, we've come to the facility. Now, your facility here on Route 140 in Boylston is right off of, what, 290? 290. What exit is it? It's 23B right now but until they, you know, renumber it. Renumber the numbers. Okay, so look but for 23B. Route 140 north, Okay, Boylston. so can people come and look at these units and, and walk in them to kind of see beforehand if it's the right we floor open plan? Them, we open all of them up every day. Every day. So they can get inside. The key is getting inside and seeing the space that you've got for the size of family that is going with you. Okay. You so, need to be comfortable. So a 25-footer of one manufacturer floor plan could be totally different than the manufacturer, the same same size, but a different floor Dif plan. Exactly. You right. can have the same floor plan, but the design inside, the setup inside might be, a, the, the bathroom door might open in instead of out. Right. Okay. Now look at th this unit that we're sitting in right now. It does not have a slide. Nope. Okay. But you have access to the bathroom. Yep. You have access to the refrigerator. You have access to everything. There might be units that have a slide that when they're going down the road, they don't have all that access. So you really should get um, inside. Get and, inside. I mean, and to a point where if they will, I mean, we don't like to do it, but have the slides go in so you can see what it's like travel mode yep. because of if you are bringing a pet or if you are having a large amount of people inside you want to make sure that they're not going to be tripping over each other exactly now so we figured out we want to go rv we figured out we're coming to um, fuller we have figured out the unit that we have we've paid you and uh, now we're ready to go uh, am i going to be given a little bit of a walkthrough to know where the refrigerator turns on, where the TV goes, and how to turn the water on. It, is there any of that we, stuff? What we, what we end up doing is we'll, I like to have you come in the week before and have the walkthrough, show you how to run everything, get the rest of the contract done, get the checklist done, so you know how everything runs. So on the day of departure, because usually there's a high volume, we have you come in, Pick it up and go. And if you need to leave a car, you yep. leave a car. Drop the car. Help in the motorhome. You're out of here. There's no time wasted on the day departure. Now, if people want to videotape their uh, walkthrough, would yep. you recommend that? I definitely do because they can refer to it the rest of the, the whole <laughs> week that they're out or two weeks or three Because weeks. let's be perfectly honest. When you are ready to go, you're ready to go. And you're not really concerned about uh, the levelers or, nope. or all the other. You want nope. You got that that anticipation of the vacation right and that's and that's that's why we do the show through a week before so, so i smart. have their undivided attention they're yep. not thinking about what's going to go where and how everything works they're listening to me so they learn everything yep. then the day departure get in go but after i do the show through they can look around and see where they can pack everything i just need their common sense so that they can learn how to do everything okay so that's it from Fuller Motorhomes. We're on Route 140 
in Boylston, Massachusetts, just outside of Worcester, just off 290, just off 495, just off the Mass Pike. I mean, you do business with people from all over the country. And um, with that being said, Sherry Fuller, we want to thank you and uh, tell people one more time, if they want to call you, where, where should they if call? If they want to call me, they can call 508-869-2905, and that is 24-7, I answer it. And coming to see us, um, 150 Shrewsbury Street in Boylston, as I said, 23B off of I-290, Route 140 North. Let's go RVing.